In April 2025, China made a groundbreaking announcement that has the potential to reshape the global tech industry. Over 35 million metric tons of high purity quartz HPQ, have been discovered in Henan and Xinjiang provinces. This mineral find, which has been officially classified as China's 174th newly designated mineral, could significantly impact industries from semiconductors to solar energy. HPQ is composed primarily of silicon dioxide with purity levels exceeding 99.99%, making it essential for high-tech applications such as semiconductor manufacturing, photovoltaic cells, and fiber optics. Its properties include extreme thermal resistance, low expansion, chemical inertness, and high optical transparency, which make it irreplaceable for producing monocrystalline silicon used in microchips and solar panels. For years, China has depended on imports of HPQ, especially from the spruce pine mine in the US, spending over $1.5 billion annually. Now, with these domestic reserves, China can reduce reliance on foreign suppliers and localize its supply chain for critical materials used in high-tech production. This shift is not only cost-effective, but also strategically important as China looks to minimize its dependency on the US amidst growing geopolitical tensions in the tech and energy sectors. With the discovery of 35 million metric tons, China now has a massive supply of HPQ to meet its increasing demand for semiconductors and solar technology. Early testing has already produced high purity quartz samples with purity levels reaching 4 N5 99.995% and even 4 N8 99.98% which meets the strict standards required for use in the manufacturing of silicon wafers and solar cells. But what makes this discovery truly significant? It's not just about finding a new source of quartz, it's about China's push for self-sufficiency in strategic materials. Quartz crucibles, essential for growing silicon ingots used in semiconductors and solar panels, are in high demand worldwide. With this new domestic supply, China can now manufacture these crucibles more affordably and more sustainably. The savings in production costs could be substantial, reducing quartz crucible prices by 20 to 30 percent and lowering wafer manufacturing expenses. This could make China even more competitive in the global solar and semiconductor industries. Beyond economic gains, China's discovery of HPQ is a part of its broader strategy to secure its place as a global leader in green technologies and microelectronics. This aligns with the country's goals to increase national security by localizing supply chains and reducing foreign dependency. The Engineering and Technology Innovation Center, dedicated to advancing HPQ purification and resource development is already in the works. This step is key in ensuring China's long-term technological growth, especially in the clean energy sector. The discovery is expected to not only support China's domestic industries, but also position the nation as a global influencer in high-tech material supply. With 35 million metric tons of quartz now secured, China is setting itself up to dominate the solar and semiconductor industries, reducing costs and increasing technological self-reliance. This move could have a ripple effect on global markets, challenging traditional supply chains and providing China with greater leverage in international trade. As this quartz is processed and utilized, it will play a crucial role in reducing China's dependence on imports, further solidifying the nation's standing in the world's green energy and technology sectors. With its vast reserves and advances in purification technology, China is positioning itself for a future of economic resilience and technological independence. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on this game-changing discovery.